the instruments on the GOES-R satellite series will produce more than 50 times the information provided by the current GOES system and will offer a wide variety of unique observations of the environment, with particular emphasis on hazardous weather in the Western Hemisphere and space weather impacts. Also on board GOES-R will be improved communication systems with higher data rates to ensure a continuous and reliable flow of remote sensing products and relay of other environmental and emergency services information, critical to a broad range of users and interests. The instrument packages on board the GOES-R satellites are the 16-channel Advanced Baseline Imager, ABI, for viewing of Earth's clouds, atmosphere, and surface, the Geostationary Lightning Mapper, GLM, for monitoring hemispheric lightning flashes, the Extreme Ultraviolet and X-ray Sensor Irradiance Suite, EXIS, for measuring solar particles, and the Solar Ultraviolet Imager, SUVI, for imaging the sun. The Space Environment Monitoring Suite that includes the Space Environment in Situ Suite, SIS, and Magnetometer, MAG, for monitoring Earth's space environment and geomagnetic storms. The Unique Payload Services Suite that includes the GOES Rebroadcast Data Service, or GRB, for transmitting real-time data products to users. The Low-Rate Information Transmission Service, LRIT, for providing data from a variety of satellites and other environmental data to users. The Emergency Manager's Weather Information Network, MWIN, containing data specifically to meet the needs of emergency managers. The Data Collection System, DCS, for relaying environmental data from remotely located platforms, and the Search and Rescue Satellite Aided Tracking Service, SARSAT, to help locate mariners, aviators, and others in distress. The Advanced Baseline Imager, ABI, is a 16-channel imager that will provide better products for forecasting, severe weather warning, numerical weather prediction, and climate and environmental monitoring. The ABI improves on the current GOES imager, GOES 8 through 12, including NOP, with four times higher spatial resolution, five times faster imaging, increased spectral coverage due to 3.2 times more channels, and more accurate measurements for observing subtle features. Imagery at visible, near-infrared, and infrared wavelengths, along with associated products, will be produced for most of the Western Hemisphere every 15 minutes compared to the current three-hour interval. In the contiguous United States, the viewing interval will shrink from the current 15 minutes to every five minutes, and for a movable smaller scale area during severe weather, and other environmental emergencies, imagery and a subset of products will be available every 30 seconds. As the two-hour ABI simulation shows here, all three imaging modes will be producing product sets at the same time. Studies have estimated that the economic value of the potential benefits of the ABI over the current imagers exceeds $4 billion. The Geostationary Lightning Mapper, GLM, will provide continuous lightning measurements over a large portion of the Western Hemisphere, mapping total lightning, cloud to cloud, and cloud to ground, flash rates and trends. GLM data will improve local forecasts and warnings of severe weather and air quality, and provide new data for studies of regional climate and climate change. Current GOES observations of solar activity and Earth's space environment contribute to NOAA's operations to continuously monitor and forecast space weather. GOES-R will carry three instruments to ensure this continues. GOES-R's new capabilities will improve reports, alerts, warnings, and forecasts of potentially dangerous events like solar flares, geomagnetic storms, and other solar disturbances. For monitoring the sun, GOES-R will carry the SUVI, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, and the EXIS, Extreme Ultraviolet and X-ray Irradiance Suite. SUVI generates images of the full solar disk every minute to detect abnormal activity and help provide early warning of solar events, while EXIS will continuously monitor solar output. 
the space environment in situ suite, SICE, and magnetometer, MAG, onboard goes R, will monitor Earth's space environment by continuously measuring the effect of solar activity on the Earth's atmosphere, improving forecasts and alerts of geomagnetic storms.